as uh, difficult to kill as possible, which is going to work out because Nogaru is going to try his very best to kill him as often as possible. Great defensive vision here for Cubey. As uh, might even dash over that wall, does so. Move towards the medium wave a little bit more easily. Tempted Showmaker just uh, farming up against one another. Showmaker ahead by a few CS, but this lane is not what this game is about at the moment. At least that one landed from Nogari. Slashing a face now as well. Quickly realizing, oh wait, I can't fight this guy. I've died twice. Although I don't know if he ever actually fully realizes that fact, since he'll probably go in for more and more kills. Your fourth. As let's see if the bottom lane is going to get any help here, as since Wadi's making our way. Yeah, Canyon level seven now, so we'll have that ultimate available. The hen's going to immediately cleanse out of that one, but he's going to die. Canyon grabs that kill. You can see Beryl celebrating by diving on top of his jungler. Cube now. Getting dive ready as Haru is going to be taking Shelly down. Flawless Duet comes in as Cube gets out of the way of Turret Aggro. And Nogger is able to lock down the cannon minion at least. Unleash power still available here for Showmaker as uh, Damwon want to try and deny this. It's down to 200 health. Haru with the solo knocks out her eye, down to 27 health. And now, with three members here, it looks like Haru will be taken out. He collected the eye though, yeah. so got that one. Nice, going for nice try, Lens. Trying to help from the bottom lane that didn't quite pan out. Yeah. And I see even had a, a Yumi on his back, so the Zoomies able to get Canyon there on time. It's nowhere near the extended lead of uh, the last time around, because that's Vanguard's edge. You may not going to break any of the sides of it, as Nogari uses the majority of his mana at that stage and now looks to go back home. 12 is still the CS gap, but uh, talking about CS gaps, it's much larger down here towards the bottom side. 30 CS is the lead for Vissa, who, as a reminder, guys, was a sub-support. Take a look here. I mean, there's zero vision in the red side jungle for Hangolite. Like, kind of just strolled on through the jungle, so really easy setup there. And then they just knew that Haru would be up here onto the Rift Heralds. Maybe they were considering taking it themselves. Maybe he ran over the scuttle crowd that gave the vision. Either way, it became quickly obvious that's where the Leeson would be. And they were able to take him out on top of that. So a couple of kills for Dom One. Trying to pull the gold back into not so much of a lead. Only 500 gold is the difference now. But still in favor of Dom Yep. Hungary's going to be able to grab himself a plate here, most likely as uh, QV a little bit late to getting towards this lane, as Hanwha, they're just going to double down on their victory bottom side, with uh, the first turret going over to Vista, Haru grabbing a bit of that gold as well, as Bertha is going to be his next target. Hopefully coming back down, he vacated this lane, as they knew that it was given up for the ghost. And uh, yeah, Shelly's going to get skirted, taken down, so the double charge is going to be denied. From the half minutes into this game, second break going to be taken here. As Hanwha, are we heading towards another uh, soul? And yes, oh. it is going to be Infernal Soul once again. Infernal's so good for both of these teams. I mean, just look at it, it's it's pretty insane. I, I think there's a little bit more poke, but even even then marginally so, on the side of Hanwha life. So it's, it's going to be pretty nice for Tom Long, who can add that little bit of extra damage every three seconds if they can manage to somehow turn this game around. Yep. And yeah, that's definitely a lot more exciting than the Cloud Soul. I think the Cloud Soul potentially you could just say, okay, maybe we don't have to fight over this, but Infernal Soul, no doubt Dalmo will have to make a move if Anwa try to take that down. Yep. Showmaker now defending in the mid lane as the Ezreal sets up shop there, as he is wont to do after his turret falls down. and. It's a little bit of an early clip for that one, as we've got a Rumble versus Misfortune bottom lane matchup. Looks like Nuclear now sitting by himself with minion waves to catch. The temp's been throwing back and it he is able to even out his CS margin just a little bit. His uh, Showmaker is at least farming extraordinarily well. Sitting at 153 at 14 minutes is no slouch at all. But Nogri with Canyon in tow. Trying to do something to QA here as he darts around the minion wave. Barrel's gonna turn up as well. There you go, Canyon. 
Uh, yeah. Whether they were spotted out. Nope. No ping came out from the blue team, only from the red team. So, <laughs> very sneaky maneuver here from the side of Dom 1. Can Cube sniff it out is the question. He's got a face check and dry brush instead. As Splish is happening here in the mid lane. And, uh, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, dear. Who's caught who is the real question here. As he goes, not with the blade search. Haru is in, but it is a two versus three right now. Final chapter is great over both members. Good kickback as QA in a bit of trouble, and Nogri taking a lot of damage. Flashes over and takes down the killers. Now, Lahens is his next target, but they are taken down. True Shot Barrage into Narnia there for Vista. Finds absolutely no one, as it's one for one. Both top lane is dead. Uh, crazy fight back and forth there. A bunch of weird and wacky teleports and flashes out of there. And it ends up at the end just being pretty even. All things considered, the two top laners do go down. Hama uh, try to push in the mid lane, but easily going to be answered here by Damwon. Gold lead not changing much after that. I feel like we should be in a pretty similar situation. What? Shemek going 1v2 as uh, Lahens does get the heal back with that piercing darkness. Use that cleanse as well. So, Shemek is certainly feeling feisty at this stage with his Super Soaker online. You don't want this water fight. Yeah, if he could just get one more damage item, he's gonna really be popping off here as we take another look at the replay. Haru saving this kick until a lot had been used here on the side of Goblin, and Nuggery was taking a really long time to enter the fight. He was very apprehensive. Eventually does pick up the kill, but Lahens on the setup. Stronger than you'd imagine. I don't know what Vista was trying to ult there. Yeah. Maybe he was trying to ult into, you know, his next team's games in a couple of days, but he was ulting into the past. Yeah. They, they did not hit anything, and it's a little bit disappointing. Wouldn't have changed the outcome too much. Nope. Perhaps it was a very delayed reaction to trying to catch Aurelia. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe he was already charging it before Aurelia was dead. Not entirely sure, but it, it did look a little bit comical as the dust settles. Uh, speaking of Vista, he is very, very close to collecting his Trinity Force. Just needs to turn that longsword into a page and then pay the 3-3-3 afterwards as Showmaker now looking for Vista and kills him. Just straight up one versus two. Oh, oh. enough piercing darkness <laughs> available there for Lahens. And, uh, yeah. Um, you know, Syndra, everyone. Yeah. Uh, That's called getting gameplay. She picks up an early kill that allows her to get a needlessly arch rod, which then snowballs into being able to one combo squishies at this point of the game, as there is no magic resist at all on the side of the Ezreal. Yeah. And so just like that, I mean, you're just going to die if you don't take necessary precautions. You can't be that close to get comboed. Or you gotta build MR, or you gotta try not to, uh, you know, give any kills to the Syndra. And Vista and his team did none of those options. Well, Miss Piggy running around with her little cat in tow. Uh, did spy some people towards that bottom side. It's now Cube and Nogri are fighting. I think we'll have a flawless duet available once again. And all the pierce, the Dawning oh! Shadow working out in favor of Cube. It was one auto attack from Nogri. But he's unable to grab it. Cube just a little bit too far ahead. Yeah, able to get all those stacks of the Black Cleaver down and was eventually doing some pretty nice damage to Bramble Valley of Power right yeah. there, Valdez. With the Ninja Tavian Swell, if this was LS, he'd say, well, if he had a Trinity Force, they wouldn't have even needed a piercing <laughs> light or whatever it's called. As but on him now. Yeah, Showmaker in a hell of a lot of trouble. He's going to be taken down. Misty gets his revenge and now Canyon. Trying to get away from there, has to flash to get over the wall. The last chapter does come in, and now Hama Life are going to threaten the Infernal Soul. I love that. The brute force takeaway of that dragon. And Hanwha showing that they still have control of this game. You got to be uh, careful when you do not have your flash available as a Syndra. You might feel like a god with two kills on your back, but still got to respect Whoa. the amount of burst damage. Where was that Q going, Cuba? Uh, so, going to get Canyon out of there, so no harm, no foul. And then more turret damage coming in. Even the center helping out very, very well, as the uh, execution is calling also for the matter healing of the Yumi, which is why it's being purchased. So you have a look at this 1v1 once again. 
felt like Jubei might, sorry, Noguri might be able to actually win out on this one, as you see at this point. The Vanguard's Edge is going to dissipate before any of the edges actually worked out, and the Blade Surge not able to get enough of that Trinity Force damage in there, and the Dawning Shadow really tipping it over the edge. Take a look here, and they're just baited by Stopwatch again. Haru lives with this Stopwatch, and Syndra is halfway down the river, and Semp was actually a really sneaky rumble. I don't know how you hide that gigantic mecha suit in the bush, but yeah. he was able to do it, and caught the Syndra by surprise. She did not have flash at the time, and that ended up being the kill into the Dragon Takes. Now they're on soul points because of Haru's bait with the best item in the game, Stopwatch. <laughs> I just, it's so, so, it's so good. Item. It's such a good item. Yeah. And to think it's free in your rooms. You just I know. Decide to pick All that you up. need is to be a bit inspirational. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm very do. inspired after uh, all of these days casting the LCK. Yeah. All of these stopwatches. The amount of time a stopwatch saves a team <laughs> and wins them a game. Like, not even exaggerating. Oh no, it's ludicrous. It's not even about, like, one kill. It's like it totally changes the, the tide of the fight. Yep. Well, we've got a final chapter being thrown down here as Teleport comes in. Haru surviving for a very long time, but now Teleport not exactly what they want. I believe he's got interrupted as Nuclear. Uh, what are you doing there, my friend? He's going to get taken down, but now can Nogari find the fight? Oh, the, the Flawless Duet's fantastic. That's going to get the double kill for Nogari, who is now feeling so much more online. Now looking to chase after Tent, who has to flash to get over the wall. And Nogari, I don't know what happened, he's flipped the switch, and now he's looking at Carol. Yeah, they've, uh, they've made him too angry. They poked the bear one too many times, and he says, now I'm going to make you pay. He lands the perfect flawless duet onto the back line after using the Aatrox as just the connector that he's the back line. Yeah. And uh, now they're going to take too much damage from the Baron, so they're not going to be able to lock that one down. But, you know, 21 and a half minutes is a little early in this game.